Hey guys, my name is Ceniac and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Where last episode, guys, we built our very own gun factory, which we're now making the prisoners create guns and we sell them for a profit. Damn, it's fancy. Uh, we got some uh, assembled guns here. Sale price $200. Some more over here. So it's pretty much you get $200 per gun you create, which is pretty damn dope. We also got set up to the garden, which we're creating tomatoes, cucumbers, roses, lilies, and all that good stuff. Uh, we've got a bunch of workers in here, which are kind of killing it for us anyway, just doing all the jobs. Um, and it's making us a ton of money. Look at that. We've got 8,000 exports just gone out there. We're on our way to having 1,000, 1, 1 million, so I should say, in the bank. We have so many deliveries right now. Our workers can't keep up, and we kept getting fires. I've noticed since last episode, I've had a few fires happen down here, but we integrated the sprinkler system and it seems to take care of it perfectly. Now, what are we doing today? Well, we're kind of continuing uh, in the progression of getting more jobs and trying to earn more money. Um, I've re-enabled the gang mods. So we're more likely, well, kind of really highly likely to get a gang leader and gang members come into the prison. Because for the longest time, forget the intelligence and gangs, we've got no red gang. And I want to try and get them back and see what happens. It's going to be very interesting. We've got nine prisoners arriving in the morning, so hopefully some of them are going to be gang related. And also today, I want to try and get set up. If I go to the rooms, I want to get set up. Uh, where is it? The accounting room here. Uh, this is a room where your prisoners launder money. So we take that dirty money, we turn it into clean money. Thus, gaining even more cash money moolah. It's a never-ending circle. I also want to get set up too, back in the rooms. Hold on. There we go. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The... If I can find it. Is it this? It's not this. Is it somewhere else? Um, there's a room. If I... Can I not see it? Am I blind? Landing zone, animal farm. I'm sure there's a room where you grow trees. Is it the greenhouse? It's not the greenhouse. If I can remember it correctly, I don't think I can remember it correctly, but we'll figure it out anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, I need to do some accounting to do some money laundering. So we're going to research that. It allows your prisoners to launder dirty money, which did it pretty quick. Um, okay. We're also going to research the prisoner evaluation. Get that sorted as well. And what that does is uh, a major mission of the prison is to lower prisoners reoffending rate. It unlocks the program. Uh, a couple of programs there. Staff board host. And you can see the boiling point and reoffending rate of prisoners as well. Which is going to really help us out. So I want to place the accounting room just here. And this will eventually connect. Because um, we've got a connection just there. It will eventually connect the other side over here. Like indoors connection I mean. So that's pretty interesting to see. So if I drop that down to there, we'll put a large jail door just here. Just so we can have that connection. Is, is that how I want the connection? No. Right, hold on. Right, I want it there. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward, but it has to go there. It has to. Because it's the corridor. There we go. So foolish, Anik. You're so foolish. And that's why we're going to have the money laundering room there, which is pretty exciting. Right. Am I just imagining things in about this tree farm? Or have I just completely not seen... It's called a forestry, isn't it? I'm thinking it's a mod. But I don't think it is a mod. There it is, forestry. Yes, yeah, I knew I wasn't crazy. And it basically allows us to create, like, a farm... Of trees which we chop down for wood because what I've noticed is if there's still some here we're importing wood which that's fine but we can produce the wood ourselves and save the money like come on come on so I'm thinking we should uh, create a little forest in the forestry and uh, we should probably I mean what uses wood is mainly like the carpentry section and stuff like that and I'm not too sure if anything else does use wood I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I'm thinking about where to place it. So um, here is a good little spot kind of going down here. And I've been thinking about doing another yard in this area too. So if I kind of uh, planned it out. And let's say we followed this. Let's say. Oh, hold on. We've got, a, uh, <laughs> we've got an issue there. Uh, okay. 
let me put that wall back in. So what I was going to say is, if we followed this up by two there, so the corridor came down to there, and let's say this is where we want the other corridor to be. So bringing this across, that's where they would connect. So that goes up to there, that goes across, and that is a corridor system that loops itself around. Um, we're going to have a corridor here. Of course we are. And um, I'm not too sure if I have a corridor separate these here. Let's try it. So let's say we have a corridor here too, which ultimately connects that up. And then I could have this to get connected as well. So we're doing those beautiful grids. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. So then we've got these two little spots here. So here I'm probably thinking I might expand this cell block up to there would be a good idea. But here, if I separate these two again, now they're not gonna be there's not gonna be a corridor system. It'd probably be like out this whole little section would be outdoors. I can do one a yard and one the forestry. Now I'm thinking I'd do this one the forestry and this one be the yard because it's directly opposite the cell block, which would be kind of cool. Meaning we need lots ooh, no, pressing the wrong one. We need lots of foundations down. It's going to be some big expansions today. Some super, super duper expansions. There we go. Bring that down to there. So that's going to be an outdoor. It's going to, we're going to like put a path there. But we're kind of treating it as a corridor in the planning. Uh, this is all going to be indoors as well, right? Yes, yeah, so we might as well just put the foundations there too. Oh, we're giving him so much to do. So much. It's ridiculous. Right. Okay. So while they build on those foundations, let's just see what's going actually going down in the prison. So hold on. That's all going to be hooked up to this one, which it's okay. Should be able to still manage it anyway. Right. Okay. So less than three hours before the 10 prisoners arrive in the morning. And hopefully some of them are going to be all gang related. We've got 11% of the prison evaluation up and running. Right, needs. So we've got high hygiene, but the prisoners, some of them are eating, some of them in their cells and whatnot. So schedule's a little bit all over the place at the moment. So some are sleeping, some are eating. And uh, in a moment, some of them should be able to go to the toilet and hygiene and stuff like that. Okay, not bad. Um, two hours to go now until we get the next set of prisoners arriving. So the valuation of the prison is 2.1, nearly 2.2 million. Holy moly. That's kind of crazy. We're making 87,000 a day. This is from all the exports that we're doing right now. Uh, we've got a few grants on the go too. So we're waiting for two prisoners to pass the plant cultivation. Um, have any of them passed? Where is the plant cultivation one? Uh, there. There's 22 interested, just nobody has done it yet. Interesting. Interesting. So we just played the waiting game on that one. We played the waiting game. Okay, literally an hour to go. Right, they're, pretty, they're doing good with these foundations. A few little trees are being chopped down. Why not? Create a nice little forest out there, guys. It's going to be beautiful. I'm waiting for this to start, start automatically build this section. It's probably going to wait for the whole thing to be built. That's fine. Um, okay, like 20 minutes to go. I'm hoping. Do you know, it'll be so good if we got a gang leader, like a red gang leader to come in. Do you know what we'll do as well? Right, hold on. Pause the game quickly. Intake. We're going to accept all levels of prisoners at this point. All levels of prisoners. So the chances of having like a gang leader are even more higher. Which is good for us. So, prisoner intake now on the way in. Wait for them to arrive. Uh, and then we'll check out the gangs. Where's the bus? Where there we go. Finally, we've got one. Look at that. One red gang member making his way into the prison. But ultimately, the blue gang has everything. <laughs> oh, I want to see now. Does... Um do any of the gang, current gang leaders make their way over to the reception to try and recruit any of the people who are coming in who are not gang related or gang affiliated? 
I mean, the, the majority of them are going to be gang-related, as you can now see. Okay, there's two, three. Okay, there's three on the first bus that are not within a gang. So I wonder if they'll get recruited then by the uh, gang leaders. Let's see them walk in again. Right, I can hear all the uh, ding -a ling -a lings of the uh, foundations being built. Right, any gang leaders on the way over? The two gang leaders are just over here. They don't seem to be budging. So I don't think they're going to try and recruit anybody just yet who's fresh inside of the prison. But we'll see how things go. Right, how are these foundations doing then? Wow, we've got lots. What happened there? <laughs> what literally happened here? Right, bulldoze these. There we go. Not quite sure what happened there. We're going to always open that. Is it all built all the way around? Yes. Right, okay. So, materials then. We're going to demolish the walls that we don't really want at the moment. So, get rid of those and those. Right, it's all good up there. And then we'll place down the walls that we do want. So, of course, they go in. Um, this will go around... Like that. What happened over here? Nobody knows. Put some foundations back down. Okay. Uh, right. Then. So. Build the wall across. We can't really do anything until foundations have, have been placed down there. And then we can set up our money laundering route. So we're literally just playing the waiting game. All right. It did it again. Why is it doing that? Right, we just need, rather than bulldoze, uh, bulldoze it, bulldoze it, we'll just get rid of the uh, the walls. It's easy enough to do it like that, isn't it? Yeah. Right, rooms then. We're going to select this to be our accounting room. Now, what is required to be in here? So, indoors, uh, laundry, no, money table and table. Is that really it? Okay, it is, I thought it was going to be more than that. So, money table. It's just like a basic kind of table, isn't it? Right, not bad. Right, we'll start it over here. So one there, one there. Right. Okay. I do realise I don't have any doors on the room. We'll get that in in just a second. So bring this up by two more. And then we just need the standard table, right? Yeah. So we'll place that here. And then we do one there, one there. Right, good stuff. And then we'll get large gel. Should we get gel doors on it? Or just normal doors? Let's get gel doors on it. There's no need to do stuff like um, metal detectors in this area. Uh, do you know what? We'll hook this side up here solely using this one. This power supply, should I say? Just to, like, alleviate the other side. Why have we got issues over there? There we go. And we might as well drag that all the way down as well to light up the corridors. Beautiful! Okay. So we still play, we're just now playing the waiting game as we wait for them to get those walls added in. We've got a... Oh my good god! Wait, no, this is the export section. What am I talking about? This is the imports. The exports is here. Look at how many imports we got. Wait, there's me thinking I'm, I'm, I'm buying in lugs. No, we're selling lugs. How stupid am I? We've got a lot of imports coming in right now, haven't we? A lot of, uh, of that dirty money we got to turn clean. We can't do anything instead of put these doors on, by the way. So today, players... Right, um, objects as well. We need gel doors. Uh, one there. One there. We'll also have one directly opposite the shower. Uh, we'll have one there and there on the corner. One there and there on the corner too. So a couple of doors we're going to be placing in. And if I can get this one. There we go. Directly opposite. Should be good. Okay. Right, what are our workers doing then? What are our workers doing? That seems to have been slowing them down so much that they can't get any of the work that I've told them to do to get done. 
I don't know. Right, where's that plant cultivation? Uh, plant cultivation. Still nobody's done this. Do you reckon it's worth me kind of um, rescheduling all programs? Right, I've rescheduled all programs. Still taking place at 11 to 1. Maybe there's no one is going to it. It's a weird, weird one, isn't it? It definitely is. Right, okay. Some doors are now being placed down, so we're going to lock these always open. L lock the... I mean, make these always open, not lock them open. <laughs> that makes no sense. You lock them shut, you damn fool. Right, always open. Any other ones they're going to get done? Probably not. Uh, but we'll now designate the room. So the forestry then. This is going to be the forestry. There we go. Bring it up to there. Uh, we're going to have this, of course, to be a yard. Lock this open. I mean, make it always open. <laughs> um, right. They're both outdoors then. Materials. We'll do the standard paving first. There we go. This is all going to be green because it is technically a forest. And we'll make this all grass for now. And then we'll design a nice path and structure for it a little bit later. But it's a lot that we've chose to now get in. We've made him do a lot of work today so far. I mean, whatever we're paying these guys, we're making sure that we get our money's worth. Right, they built this. They haven't done this yet. Wow, they haven't even done the accounting room. Come on, guys. Sort it out, mate. We're half the way through prison evaluation as well. Got 5,000 exports, man. We're killing it with the exports. So good. So good. Right. How many workmen have we got? We've got 60. It's probably best now. If I up it to about 80, so we're hiring an extra 20. Just to get the work done. So many imports now coming in. So many exports need to go out as well. It's probably best I flip around the in the kind of deliveries and exports section. Because it makes no sense with how they currently are. The exports is first. Right, I'm going to pause it for a second. We're going to dezone all three of... No, we'll keep the garbage there. We'll dezone those two. And uh, right, so... We need then, where's our imports, exports, stuff. So deliveries, so we want the deliveries to be here. There we go. And we'll push this up all the way. So we can have lots of deliveries. Now, exports, where are you? There you are. Same with exports, would kind of make it huge. Fill up all these little nooks and crannies so we can maximize the surface area we got to export stuff. So deliveries come, because this is how it should be. Deliveries first. And then, when they drop all the deliveries off, they move to the export section, put all the exports on. If there's any space left, then they'll throw the garbage on after. That's how it literally should work. So, it's going to take a while now for them to rejig everything about, because then they've got to move everything. Uh, but that's literally how it should be. Right. We're finding all bad stuff right now. Yeah, we got, like, prisoners on drugs and stuff. This is not good. Definitely not good. Um, we've got four prisoners arriving in the morning. How is now our intelligence for our gangs? We've still got the one gang, red gang leader. Um, red gang member, sorry. Uh, the blue gang controls everything that is currently controlled. Green gang controls nothing. The blue gang have got so much money too. They've got $500. They're on fire right now. Congratulations to those guys. Those guys, man. Damn, boy, damn, son. <laughs> Right, come on, get all this stuff out. I've made the mistake of giving them too much to do. Now nothing is getting done. <laughs> That's the, the mistake I made. I gave our workers too much to do. Oh, they've got these two doors done. Okay, right, always open. Always open. So many access points to this area, which is pretty cool. So forestry is going to be really good then, because it means that we can constantly generate wood in the prison. Also, we export wood too, so that's another way to earn money. As well as the accounting section we're also getting up as well. We'll make, we'll turn this into a really nice yard. We'll do some pretty cool things with it. And paving. So first thing I'll do, I'll kind of drag this down. Now, what's about centre? 
what is it? It's 30 up. I mean, if I say this is center, would, would people believe me? Probably. Probably not. Uh, I don't know if that's center or not. <laughs> it looks center, but it doesn't look center, if that makes sense. But we'll do that little kind of uh, little plus design there. Right, how are we doing over here then? So open up these. Always open. They're now going to start to get the stuff in, right? Why has Consuela just brought in the, the laundry basket? <gasps> Wait. Is it because there's money inside there that needs... Wait, or she literally took it the, the wrong way, like money laundering, laundry. I think Consuela's going crazy, guys. I literally think she is. Right, okay, exports are going out again. Fill up those trucks, boy! Fill up those trucks. Alright, we have some lights over here that are not gaining power. Why is that? Oh, because the electricity doesn't run through there. But now it will. Okay. Right, we've got the little patterns here now then. So, objects then for outside. Uh, benches. We'll start with benches then. We'll do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we do some this side too. One, two, three, four. Oh, there we go. Uh, phone booth is what makes this place desirable. We've kind of discovered this in the past. Where did I place the first one there like that? So when you're placing phone booths like enough, that's when it becomes desirable and they want to take it over. Uh, weight benches. This is actually going to be a really good yard area. They're going to like this. There we go. Trees. We'll drop a tree there and a tree there. Why not? Why not? Right, there we go. Nice little yard area for those guys. Got the forestry all set up there, looking pretty damn dope. Uh, this room is pretty much borderline there. Um, the money laundering room is now actually being physically constructed. We've got stacks of money, dirty money, stacks of dirty money there too. We haven't told anybody to work in here just yet. So we're going to get all the flooring down right now. And then once we got that, we, we also need to do it in the um, the money the well, the accounting room. I keep calling it the money laundering room. It's technically the accounting room. What happened here? Why is there no walls? There we go. So we got to pick a like a, a color scheme, like a flooring type for the accounting room. I'm not sure what I'm going to go for. Maybe a nice laminate wooden floor would be nice in there. Yeah, let's go for that. That could be quite nice in that room. Let's make it a nice, smart room. Quite excited to see that. So again, I've given them 101 jobs to get done, as always. There's no fires, is there? Yeah, just checking there's no fires. It's very dark in these corridors as well, so we need to put some lighting down. Right, objects. Just every so often, drop a light. Let's light this place up. And coming down this corridor too. There we go. Right, lights for days. It's now all lighting up as they build it all in. Right. Um, okay. Where are we at then? Where are we currently at? Have we just had prisoners? Okay, prisoners are now coming. Oh, look at the backlog in trucks and stuff we've got right now. Once I've got everything done, then they can focus on getting all the exports out. Is this all exports here? Stacks of tomatoes and stuff? Yeah. We're making... Money, guys! We're making lots of money! Right. I'm going to pause you quickly. What is there a grant for accounting? I'm not sure if there is. Um, there's educational grants. Prison manufacturing uh, facility. Build a workshop. Oh, just produce 30 license plates. We can actually get that done now. That's a pretty simple grant to get done. Right, there's the prison bus there, so... Oh, intelligence, gangs. Okay, no red gang members, unfortunately. Right, is this... Okay, have they just taken over this? Okay, it, I've just built it, the blue gang have already taken it. Wow. They do not waste any time whatsoever. Right, this is now all set up in the accounting section. So, deployment... No, logistics of prison labour. 
We can get 34 prisoners working in here. But it requires them to pass the finance class. So that's, a, that's another uh, program we got to get set up. The finance class, which is... Da -da -da -da, there. Um, requires an accountant in a classroom. So get that done. I take it... Are we, do we have an accountant? Where's the finance class now? There. Oh, it's currently underway. Okay. Accountant's already there. We should see a lot of um, prisoners go to that classroom now and attempt it. <laughs> if that makes sense. Why is this... Hold on. Why is this room here not fully zoned? There we go. Also, that plant cultivation thing that we're still waiting for. Where is it? Plant cultivation. It happens at 11 a.m., which is very, very soon. And by very soon, it's right now. And nobody requires a guard. Oh, do I need to hire another gardener? How many gardeners do I have? No, I've got seven gardeners. Um. Ta wait. It takes place in the garden, doesn't it? Oh, that's what I could hold on edit schedule. That's why because there's already something going on in the garden Right, where is the garden? Well, let me find the garden this schedule right here's the no garden shed plant cultivation garden shed Cotton plantation garden shed this makes no sense what if I moved it to here? Would that change things from one to... We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's a weird one, isn't it? It's definitely a weird one. We got that, that license plate done anyway. And um, I'm not sure if anybody passed the finance class, by the way. Did anybody do that? Um, finance class. Um, oh, we had one pass. Okay, interesting. So we should have one person. Yeah, oh, one person's arrived. Start to do some money laundering. They got So they turn these dirty stacks into clean stacks. And we actually get quite a bit of money for doing that too. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. None of these trees are grown yet. It's currently work slash free time. There's lots of things the prisoners can do in their free time so let's look at this then so i want to expand this kind of cell block but i'm thinking dormitories will be a nice little thing to add in um do we have hold on let me get a quick build what dormitory what dormitories do we have to hand do 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 I want some dormitories there was three deaths today what has just happened nobody knows Oh dear God, what happened here? What literally happened here? Right, there's a dorm here. Should we just make our own dorms? I think we should. Right. So, planning. So, we're going to continue to use this. Oh dear God, guys. There is murder happening for days. It's our armed guard going crazy, right? No! That guy's got a gun! Right, the guard picked up the weapon. Holy moly! How did they get a gun? We're gonna, we, you know what? Shakedown. While I'm planning, we're gonna go on full shakedown. So what I was gonna just say there, we're gonna like continue this common room design. How far does this go up, by the way? That goes up to 25. If I made this go up to 25. Hmm. Yeah. Then we can turn that into a shower block here and other good stuff can happen. So we want dormitory rooms. So if I did a... What's this size? 25 by 18. So if I did... A 10 there. A 10 there. And then this was... Technically that is going to be a little bit bigger. But we'll make this come out by... There we go. 
So make that come out by 10 as well. And that will be a shower block there. Shower block, common room, and then multiple big, big, juicy dormitories. There we go. Bunch of different dormitories there. So it's it's going down in the prison. I can I can, I can already hear it. I can just it's happening right now. But I just want to get this done. Right there we go. So we've got multiple um, tunnels being created, which now I need to remove. Well, that's a big tunnel they just found there, isn't it? Everything has been searched in the prison. Everything right now. I feel like we need to hire more guards. So let's up this to 150 guards. There we go. 150 guards now in the prison. So things should be found a lot more easier. And we're finding all the tunnels right now. Oh my good god. We have to do... Um, We need to be on top of our... Uh, shakedowns, to be honest. Let me just zoom out and just kind of do the whole thing here in case there's any more tunnels that I kind of missed. What's going on over here? Oh, there's a dude going crazy right now. He literally is, isn't he? Wow. Um, right. Okay, now this area is pretty much up and running. Let's get all this stuff in. All the walls down. There we go. Right, objects in. Large jail doors. Is there a center, center point? Yeah, there is. Is there a center point to these ones? Not really. Okay, we'll do it there and there. Drains are going to go here. Shower heads. That side, there, and there. I'm not going to zone anything just yet. They st oh, look at the amount of stuff they've found. We've still got a long way to go for the searching. Right, finally they got that dude who was going mental. So we can reclaim back. Our jeans factory or production line, whatever you want to call it. Still got the odd few spots over here that need searching. Guards are on their way to search it. This shakedown was heavily needed, as you can see. <laughs> we found so much stuff. So much stuff got found. Wow. That is crazy. That is crazy. Right. The little dormitory section up here will be up and running at some point. But we need to get all the piping in. Bring that over. Good stuff. Right, only a few more things now done. I'm going to stop the shakedown. It's all good. Happy with that. We found we found quite a few things, didn't we? We actually did find so many things. Just got to wait for our workforce now to kind of tear through all this. So get down all that flooring, the white tiles for the shower room. These are going to be some over-the-top dormitories right now up here. It's going to be crazy. But we'll make them. We'll make them okay, because I want you know. I'm not gonna make them terrible. Where it's just beds. We'll do them like we've you know TVs and radios in. Not where you know it's ridiculously high like, ranked room, because it's dormitories at the end of the day. They're not gonna be that highly ranked. Um. But because there's gonna be more people in there, you, I do need to keep the tempers quite low in there and the frustration levels. Right. How many people then have passed the accounting course, the finance? Where is it? 
So one oh okay, one have passed because we haven't done the second day just yet. We're waiting for the the clock to spin around. We've got fourteen prisoners arriving in the morning as well, so that'll be kind of cool to see if any of those are uh, gang related. Uh, materials then. Let's do blue carpets for these dormitories. We haven't done blue, so let's go blue. Wait, what is... Wait, have I chose fancy tiles? I meant to do white tiles in here. Come on, guys. Sort it out. Sort it out, guys. Right, bunk beds. Okay, so... For every bunk bed I place down is two prisoners. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I feel like that is enough prisoners per cell. Because that's borderline like a holding cell at that point, isn't it? It really is. There we go. This is... Oh, this is going to dramatically increase our... Capacity, isn't it? I mean, it's thought of that. Whoopsie-daisy! One, two, three, four... There we go. Oh, I like the shade of blue as well. Okay, we need toilets in here as well. So... We'll do four toilets. In each one. Right, we'll come back and do the rest in just a second. Because I need to get all the plumbing systems in there. So, the toilets are in the corners. So, we'll have this run down as well. To there. Uh, small pipes to hook up the toilets. Or should we do walls to kind of create... Divides. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, utilities then. Let's get these all hooked up. I'm going to put a guard patrol around here as well. Just so I've got a guard opening up these jail doors for these workers. And we'll drop an armed guard in here too. Because we're going to need one at some point <laughs> up in this area. Right, objects then. So, let's now start to make these rooms a little bit more livable. So, we'll do like radio there. Radio here, here, here. There we go. Um, TV. We want a TV. Will be kind of quite nice next. All right, small TV. And we'll drop down the bench. So we'll do a bench here, bench there. Bench can go here, here, here for these. And that's pretty much all we're going to probably want to place in at this time. So we're going to get all the piping in. Once these rooms are kind of finished. Do you reckon that's enough that we'll probably need? Now we'll go for two weight benches as well. Right, that's enough. That's enough stuff in at this point then. So, right, let's first zone the shower room. 
Well, zone the common room. Right, where's the common room one? Where are you, common room? We yet to place the stuff in for the common room yet. And then dormitories. There we go. So that puts our capacity to 358, which means I'll be accepting how many prisoners? Okay, maybe not that many prisoners. Well, I don't know. That would kind of create some kind of chaos, wouldn't it? I kind of like that idea. Right, we'll, we'll keep it like that then. So let's get this common room up here sorted. So we'll do some benches. There and there. Uh, we need phone booths to make it desirable to gang members. And we'll do two pool tables there. So, again, we're just waiting for him to get all that stuff in. Oh, I haven't even connected up this. There we go. Last few little bits and bobs to finalise this area. All good, all good, all good. We don't, we've done quite a bit today. I didn't even realise how much we like physically got done. Your boy is on fire. Your boy is on fire. Okay. Right, nice, 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 nice. So, we'll just wait to get the little last few bits and bobs in. Uh, logistics, no, intelligence, gangs... This is now desirable to gangs, so they'll, they'll want to try and take that on. Uh, we should get the pipes in very, very soon. For those little toilet areas there. Look, are they already making their way over? Yeah, look, I've, they're already making their way over. What, I bet it's the, is it the blue gang? It's the green gang. Okay. Green gang do need some territory. It, let's see if they can hold on to this. Let's. Oh, we got three red gang members. Nice. Oh, the blue gang is going on a mass kind of spree right now to try and claim territory. It'd be nice for other gangs to try and get some other territory too. We can't have the blue gang just running away with all this. Yep, the green gang have got it. Green gang have got it. Not bad. What's going on over here though? It's a bit mental over here, isn't it? Does anybody else just feel like the Red Gang needs to make a comeback? And like, I'm, anybody else rooting for the Red Gang? I, I'm rooting for the Red Gang. I really want them to turn things around. Are right, they going to get this piping? Yeah, dude's on the way to get the piping right now. Okay. All right, all the stuff's in. Dormitories are looking good in this little area. Very impressed. Pipes now all in. We're all ready then. So, um, we're going to be accepting 105 prisoners tomorrow in the game. Uh, what's what's going on over here? Oh, I, was there a fire? Hold on. I feel like there was a fire. There must have been a fire because I th th yeah, there's got to be there's smoke. There's all burnt stuff right now. Them sprinklers are doing the job, right? There must have be. Must have done. Oh, there's fights and everything taking place right now. It's going mental. But anyway, guys, next episode, we're going to be accepting in those 106 prisoners right now. It's going up and up and up as people are dying. Um, and it's going to be crazy because every single one of them is going to be a gang member. We've got the new dormitory area all set up. Probably at some point, we're going to need to look at getting... Um, I just realized we need metal detectors here. Um, another canteen area set up because the amount of prisoners we're now going to be having seems a bit over the top. Uh, for what's currently going down. And I feel like we shouldn't be sit enabling or accepting any more prisoners for quite some time right now because it's going to be chaos. Another an extra 100 prisoners coming in is going to be chaos anyway. But knowing that the majority of them, like 99% of them, are going to be gang related, it's going to cause some tensions and some issues and problems in our prison. Which it's going to be fun. We all know this. We all know it's going to be hilarious. So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. Until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. <laughs>